Good afternoon and welcome to Berwick Mitsubishi. My name is Mark and I'm going to take you for a walk around our 2013 Mercedes-Benz C250 Coupe this afternoon. We'll start off at the front of the car. A few things to point out. We've got colour-coded front parking sensors, daytime running lamps down the bottom of the front bar. And of course you've got your distinctive uh, Mercedes emblem there at the front. HID headlights, therefore we have headlight washers as well. Presented in a dark metallic blue. Um, really, really strikes me as impressive this car. Uh, original alloy wheels with continental tyres on them. Um, so really good tread depth on the tyres. And both the alloys on the driver's side of the car are unmarked. Colour coded exterior mirror with our indicator in our in our mirror as well, colour coded uh, door handles and as we scan down towards the rear of the car as you can see our uh, presentation is immaculate in this car as we get around the rear bumper we've got colour coded reverse sensors as well um, and once again not a mark on the paintwork that I've been able to detect anywhere at this stage as we move around to the left hand side uh, once again the alloys are in very good order um, and same with the paintwork, very consistent in the way it, it uh, presents this car. But of course, being a Mercedes, usually the owners are very pedantic in the way they look after the car. Only other thing to highlight is the uh, panoramic roof as well, uh, which is from factory. So overall exterior presentation, really impressive. So around at the boot now, and a uh, simple matter of just releasing it by the button on it, one of our two factory keys. As you can see, Tim, our internet sales manager, has got all his gym gear in the back there. And we've also got our factory Mercedes mats and quite a good storage area too, as you can see. Just at the top here are manual releases to drop the backs of the seats down if we need to utilise additional storage space. Okay, round at the front of the Mercedes now, we'll have a little bit of a chat about the performance of this particular car. Uh, as we mentioned earlier, being a, a C250, it's uh, got the uh, 1.8 litre four cylinder motor, which gives us 150 kilowatts of power, 310 newton metres of torque, but delivers outstanding fuel economy, seven speed auto and delivering 6.9 litres combined per 100 k's. Uh, based on the fact they've got a 74 litre fuel tank, you're going to get in excess of a uh, thousand kilometres to a tank of fuel. So inside the Mercedes now, and I've got to say they're just really prestigious cars to sit in. On our driver's armrest, our power window switches, and then our controls for our exterior mirrors, which do, do have the fold-in function as well, and they are heated also. Uh, manual button to lock and unlock our doors there. And then up in front of that, we've got auto headlights on our right-hand side here. Um, leather wrapped, full leather wrapped steering wheel which is height and reach adjustable. So telescopic and uh, set ourselves up into position and just push our lever back up, locks it away. Uh, it does have paddles on the steering wheel if we want to change through the uh, gears manually. Um, leather wrapped of course the steering wheel, all of our Bluetooth and audio controls on our right hand sides and then our controls just to feed us the information about the car performance. Um, down on the left hand side here uh, we have cruise control, um, they're moving into the centre screen now. Uh, we've got satellite navigation which is up on our screen at the moment. Um, does have reverse camera which we didn't mention earlier, very good clarity with the picture as well. And just pop it back into park. Um, all of our master controls for our audio and navigation here as well. And then we've got heated front seats. Uh, the economy button, we can turn our parking sensors off if we wish to, and then sports mode there as well. Dual zone climate control air conditioning, which obviously we've got running right now. Um, and a small storage compartment just there at the front. Seven speed auto in the Mercedes. And this knob here also controls uh, the information we're feeding off our screen up the top. Cup holders here underneath that cover. And then inside here, We've just got our auxiliary inputs in there as well. You can see those in there. Now, a really nice cream interior. Um, all of the seats and the infills in our door trims in this particular car. Um, and as you can see, presents as new. Um, really, really good condition. We'll have a quick look at the service books before we finish in the interior of the car. One thing about the Mercedes-Benz, certainly no shortage of books, that's for sure. But we're lucky enough to pick it first up. 
So we'll have a little bit of a look now once we just pop all those other books away. And let's have a look at the servicing. I haven't had an actual look at this prior to doing the video, so we'll have a bit of a look now. So current service was done by European European specialist, independent BMW specialist in Berwick. And then Mercedes-Benz have had all the servicing for this car so far in its life. So outstanding service history as well. The only other thing we'll touch on before we finish in the inside of the car is we'll just touch on our panoramic roof. So we've got our mesh cover closed at the moment if you don't want too much sunlight coming in or if you want it open to let the, you know, the sunshine in, we can, uh, as you can see by doing that. So uh, really impressive. So in summary, one really impressive motor car. Hope this video has given you a really good idea of the quality of our Mercedes C250. So give us a call on 9907055 and one of us will be able to help you further.